sensor based energy conservation the main of the aim of the project is to conserve the energy depending only on the person detection here in this project the input sensor is nothing but the pr sensor which is used to detect the human beings only when the presence of the person is there then only to operate the devices like in this project we are going to show three demo devices like one is a fan and the second is the energy conservation based on uh, bulb and the third you can in here we have put like uh, we have put like a charger here as a mobile charger but apart from charger you can easily put even pc also so this main project utilized for the corporate officers so here we are going to uh, show you actually the devices based on relay which is the interfacing unit for to the controller and to the devices it acts like a switch between the controller and the output devices coming to the interfacing unit this is the main motherboard of the entire system and here this is the pcb board on which you are going to place the microcontroller unit here microcontroller is the main heart of the entire system in which we are going to dump the program code and this is the pcb board on which these are the power supply components for the controller and here we are going to get the supply voltage from your main so here for the controller you need around 5 volts of dc power supply so the main power supply is 230 volts ac so from 230 volts ac to a 5 volts dc we are going to use this power supply component the so first is your step down transformer which step down the step down voltage from the 230 volts to a 12 volts okay after the step down voltage we are going to get ac here so for conversion of ac to dc you are going to use a rectifier here uh, we are going to use a bridge rectifier it is an ic of db107 which converts ac to dc but the output of rectifier is not a perfect dc it's a pulsated dc so we are using a capacitor filter which is of 1000 microfarads which filters the ac components and gives a perfect dc output this output voltage we are interfacing to the regulator here this is a voltage regulator which is a 5c7805 it gives a 5 volts output voltage dc constant regulated output voltage so here after regulator also there is a small capacitor of 100 microfarad which is uh, used to protect the controller so like if you get any output voltage with any ripples of ac remove with this capacitor filter also and from this output of regulator you get a 5 volts constant voltage to the controller and these are the programming pins five programming pins through which you are going to dump the program code into the controller so the first pin is your supply voltage the second pin is the ground and the third pin is the reset and the last two pins directly goes to the last two pins of the controller so directly the program can be dumped to the controller there and this is the led indicator so led requires around 2 1.5 to 2 volts so here the output of the regulator is 5 volts this LED indicator just for the power supply indication. So as you get the power supply to the controller, it indicates to this LED light. And to get uh, two volts of power supply, we are going to drop the voltage of around three volts using a 330 ohm resistor here. And this is the reset button, which is used to restart the controller. Leave about the peripherals. Apart from the peripherals, if you want to reset the only controller, you are going to press this button. This is the reset button. and this is a 10 kilo ohm pull up resistor and this is used to pull up the excess voltage and coming to this is on and off switch button okay this is a slide switch so when it is at the left side it is under off mode when it is at the right side it is under on mode and here this is a crystal oscillator which gives a frequency of about 20 megahertz to the controller so here this is the input module which is nothing but the pr sensor PR sensor is passive infrared sensor. Initially, it takes a two millisecond delay to identify any person that comes nearby. So once it has been identified, these are the three wires. So brown wire is the power supply wire, and the black wire is the ground one, and the red wire is the output wire. So when the person has been detected, the output wire gives a high voltage to the controller. So this is the input to the controller to which you are programming the. So when the person has been detected. Controller gives the program there, and according to the program, the devices get operated. So here, interfacing unit between a controller, motherboard, and the devices, the relay unit, which acts like a switch between the controller and the devices. This is the relay circuit board. Here, relay, we are going. Here, we are going to use the relay board here. This is the relay circuit. It takes the two tools. 
the urgency power supply and it can operate in a device of uh, AC voltage, even DC voltage devices also. And this is the input from the controller. This is the output of the controller and input to the relay unit. So here, transfer acts like between a switch between the relay unit and to the controller. So when you get a high signal from the microcontroller unit, the relay uh, relay operates using this transistor. So to the base of the transistor, when you get a high signal, common and emitter create the power path. And from 7802 and 7812 regulator, you get a 12 volt constant power supply to the relay unit. Here, relay unit is here also you can have an LED indicator which indicates the power supply to the relay unit. And there is a diode there which is used like a protection diode. So this diode, this is like previous diode here. So if you get any feedback, I mean, that uh, generated feedback, it's going to reduce using the diode and protect the transistor also. And here, output of the relay is nothing but uh, the two kinds of switches here. So from these two switches, the devices are being socket. Through the socket, so the first we have connected to the DC pack. So the second switch is for the next. Output takes a little bit delay time because as the sensor is under heating condition, we can't 